you got all this froggy here. Well, I'm back uh, back into the battery on my Lexus IS 300. The uh, the Bosch one that I bought new, it died. I got it replaced. Uh, I think they prorated it on uh, on me. This was from Pep Boys, and it just died again. So I'm done with Bosch forever. Used to be a good uh, brand, but uh, wouldn't give you much for it anymore. Anyway, this is uh, from Costco. It's an interstate battery, and they've always been interstate batteries at Costco, but they never put the the interstate name on it. They put Kirkland on it, I believe, but now they're going with interstate. Anyway, I tried to find out the specifications that are the original specifications for the IS 300 and I really am having a hard time finding them however comma this battery I am very sure exceeds the original specifications now you you want to know what specifications are C cranking amps at zero 800 that's the top number cranking amps at 32 degrees F that's a thousand that's the second number down reserve capacity that's reserve capacity is kind of how long you can let it sit in the garage without turning it on and running it you know a, a week two weeks three weeks a month anyway that's your reserve capacity this has 110 minutes those are all really good numbers the warranty on this is three and a half years, 100%. And uh, what did I pay for it? I paid uh, 83 bucks, $15 core. I'll get that back when I uh, bring when I give them that Bosch dead battery. And uh, tax for the idiots in Sacramento, California. Um, so figure about 90 bucks is what I paid for it once I get the core money back. Uh, the reason I'm doing this video is because uh, they don't have a listing for a Lexus IS 300 battery um, in the little battery book that they have at most uh, most shops. They have a battery book where you look up the, the make model the year of your car and everything. So I got this one based on those specifications and also the size of it. Now the size of it, it fits okay. It's a little bit shorter. So what I did, and this is the interesting part, and I want to show you guys and gals. I'm not going to take it out because I, I just got it in. But down there I've got a piece of 3 8 plywood. I cut it um, about 6.5 inches by 10.5 inches so that it would fit in to the battery box down there and raise the battery up. The reason I have to raise it up is to clear this right here and also because there weren't going to be there weren't going to be enough threads to tighten it down if I didn't uh, raise it up. So the battery is about a half an inch shorter but it, it, that doesn't matter as long as you do this. You want, you want to make sure that you get your battery secure in there. And this one is plenty secure, as you can see. Um, so the little little trick, the little tip that Froggy's giving you is um, you can replace your battery at Costco or Walmart or any other place as long as you've got all those specifications that are as good or better than, you, than your original and also if you can get it to fit. Now this one is, and I'll tell you for you guys who actually have IS-300, this is a number 9. Right? Can you see it down there? Yeah. That's like the Costco battery number, number 9. Okay. And uh, that's about it. So uh, I'm going to connect the terminals and uh, I will start it out. All right. Remember that... Uh, the negative comes off first and it goes back on last. Okay? Uh, see you later, guys and gals. If this helped you, give me a thumbs up or a like. 
If you want more from Froggy, subscribe to my channel. It's free. And I hope you guys and gals have a great week. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.